Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the case that is going on between FC Barcelona and Wijnaldum. It has been said that PSG do want to get into the race to sign Wijnaldum and basically hijack the deal. We are going to be discussing into further detail on what all of that is all about. And then later on in the video, we are going to be talking about Moriba and Jose Gaia, who is a left back. So there is so much that we do need to discuss in today's video. And we are first going to be talking about Wijnaldum. So recently, we have heard many reports state that Barcelona are very close on signing Wijnaldum. It is very likely that Barcelona can announce this player and especially knowing that Ronald Koeman is going to be continuing with this club into the next season. And that is one of the biggest factors onto why Wijnaldum has a big chance on moving to the Camp Nou. And the only reason why we did see Eric Garcia get signed to Barcelona and Sergio Aguero and Emerson signed to this club earlier this week and we did not see Wijnaldum get signed right after it was because his transfer was put on hold because we now wanted to know if Ronald Koeman was going to continue. But as of now, the Catalan club is very close on signing this player because they do have a verbal agreement. But reports have shown that Barcelona is not the only club that is close on signing We now them. One of the clubs that has entered the race has been PSG. So yes, We now them does have options. Teams such as PSG, Bayern Munich, Inter Milan have encountered this player. And it says here, according to Moises Llorens, PSG are trying to hijack Barcelona's attempt to sign Wijnaldum. For those who are close on working with the negotiations, it is believed that PSG have made a much more generous financial offer to Wijnaldum, who at the moment is now leaning towards a move to PSG. It has also been said that Barcelona are actually very well aware on what's going on. They know that PSG want to enter the race and they know that they have been outbid. And let me tell you guys, this part right here, knowing that they have, knowing that Barcelona have been outbid and knowing that PSG do want to offer Wijnaldum a better contract contract, this is key right here. And I'm going to give you guys a backstory so you guys can know exactly what I am talking about. So many sources coming from The Athletic, they have stated that Wijnaldum wanted a long-term contract with Liverpool. Liverpool said no because they think that if they were to give Wijnaldum a long-term contract, knowing that he's 30 years old or 29 years old, by the time his contract does end or he is about one year away from completing that next and new contract from Liverpool, he would be around 33 to 34 years old. And Liverpool know that if they were to sell Wijnaldum in about three years after giving him a brand new deal, they would not get much value or a big fee for this player. So what Liverpool wanted to do was give Wijnaldum a two-year contract and Wijnaldum did not want that. Wijnaldum wanted a longer contract and a contract that does reflect what he gives to this club. So maybe asking for a better wage and a long-term contract. But again, Liverpool did not want to do that. And so they came into a conclusion where Liverpool Wijnaldum just said, you know what, we're just going to leave it at this. We're going to let this contract run out and I'm going to leave for free in the summer of 2021. And at this very moment, there are many clubs, right, who are interested in Wijnaldum. They're not giving this player a much better contract than what Liverpool had to offer. And especially Barcelona. If you are a player and you want to move to Barcelona and you expect to have a high wage and a better contract, you're probably not going to get that from FC Barcelona and Laporta. Barcelona is the last club you do want to work with. But this is why PSG believe that they can hijack the deal because they are offering Wijnaldum a better contract. Like the report does state and a much more generous financial offer. And now Wijnaldum is in a position where he has to make a decision. Does he want to move to FC Barcelona where he knows that Ronald Koeman is going to be there and that he knows that he will be implemented heavily into the next season or should he move to PSG where he is going to get the contract that he always desired? And it says here, according to Fabrizio Romano, Barcelona are waiting for Wijnaldum's final decision in the next hours. Barcelona are already planning the medicals for Wijnaldum and they still hope that Wijnaldum signs the contract that will take him until 2000. 2024. And let me tell you guys, the moment Barcelona realized that they are in a bidding war with PSG, I do expect Barcelona to pull out because they are not going to give no higher offer than what they did previously. And at this very moment, Wijnaldum and his lawyers are waiting to see what could be the best offer. And if that's going to be the case, right, if Wijnaldum and the lawyers are expecting a bid war, I would just suggest for Wijnaldum to move to PSG because I do not even think that it would be in Barcelona's best interest to give this player a higher wage, any longer contract, and better benefits for someone who's 30 years old. This is not President Bartomeu's Barcelona. This is Juan Laporta's Barcelona. We are not going to buy players who are 30 years old and give them a long contract with high wages. Barcelona, again, is no longer that club. So I do think that if that's going to be the case, Ronald Koeman and the club should greatly discuss what should their next options be. If Wijnaldum cannot come to Barcelona and Koeman has greatly admired this player and wanted him to come to Barcelona, then one of the other options could be Moriba, 
who is a very similar player to Wijnaldum. And I do believe that we can make Moriba a much better player than what Wijnaldum is. And I just believe that as a coach, you must make decisions that can bring you results for the now and for the long term. So when you leave this club in about two or three years, you leave this club in the best condition possible for the next manager. And if you were to ask me, would you choose Moriba or Wijnaldum? I would much rather lean towards Moriba, who has much more years in him and does have a higher ceiling. So it says here, according to Fernando Polo, Barcelona is currently not planning on making an improvised bid to CEO Wijnaldum after PSG's offensive. The Catalan club still trusts the continuity of Koeman, who will help Wijnaldum to choose them and not the PSG side. So we should find an answer on what Wijnaldum's decision is going to be, which is going to be between the days of Monday and Wednesday. So speaking about Moriba, I do want to talk about the latest details regarding this player. So look, we have seen many youth players have their contract renewed, but one of the players that has not gotten their contracts renewed has been Moriba. Many people have been questioning, what about this player? And it says here, according to Luis F. Rojo, Barcelona wants to present an official offer to Elix Moriba next week. They see him as a player for the future and want to extend his current deal. The idea is to renew his contract for three to four more years. Teams in England are eyeing the situation. And so look, Barcelona has to renew this player. If Barcelona want a box-to-box -box type of midfielder, Moriba is the answer. Is Moriba a finished product on what a box-to-box -box midfielder should be and how they should be performing on the daily basis? No. Moriba is a player that has so much to improve on. But the fact that Moriba has shown that he can be playing as a interior and as a defensive midfielder, that is excellent. We need players like that. And there has been reports stating that Moriba and the lawyers are demanding from Barcelona to give a better contract. Moriba does want more and better financial terms. But I'm here to clear things out when it comes to this report because that is a false narrative. None of that story when it comes to Moriba asking more for Barcelona is true. The only thing that Moriba wants to do is to help this team and improve this team for the better. So if you guys do see any stories regarding Moriba asking for a better price or a better fee or a better wage, it is completely false. And I think that with Koeman's continuity with Barcelona, seeing how Koeman does value this player and how he does want to use him very consistently, we will see Koeman bet on this player. And so by next season, which will be the 2021-2022 season, we should expect to see Busquets, Moriba, De Jong, Pedri, Collado, and Nico Gonzalez as our midfield options. And now I do want to move on towards the last topic of today, and we are going to be talking about Jose Gaia. This is a left back that has been talked about so much through the media in the past 48 hours. And the backstory towards Jose Gaia is that Gaia is being wanted by Barcelona because Gaia could be a player that can replace or compete against Jordi Alba. Many reports have stated that he attacks very well, he defends very well, and looking at his last season stats, with Valencia, he has scored one goal and provided seven assists as a left back in all competitions, which does make him a great player. I think that these type of stats really do show that Gaia does have quality. But I do want to clarify one thing when it comes to Barcelona bringing in a new left back in the next season. But let's first start with the report that has surfaced, coming from Gabriel Sanz. Gaia is a real option for Barcelona, who do have good reports on the left back. There's an internal debate on whether or not he should be signed in order to compete with the club veteran Jordi Alba. But Gaia, as the option for Barcelona, is on the table and it will be studied. But here is going to be the point that I do want to make when it comes to this player. Barcelona are looking to sell Junior Firpo, which is going to be very likely because he is one of the most demanded players. Point number two, Barcelona want to maintain Jordi Alba for the next season. You look at what he provided last season under Ronald Koeman. He has given out a total of five goals and 15 assists. He was involved in 20 goals last season, which is absolutely tremendous. Point number three, Barcelona, according to many reliable sources in Barcelona, they do want to incorporate Alejandro Balde next season. And there has been many good reports on this player and he has been performing very well with Barcelona B. Point number four, Barcelona have a player named Serginho Dest who can play as a right back and plays excellent as a left back. And he has shown that with the national team, which is USA. So the fact that we basically have three options going into the next season, when it comes to the left back position, there is no necessity for Barcelona to bring in Jose Gaia. And yes, there could be an argument, but Gaia is better when it comes to the defensive work, which is true. I do think that that is a fair argument. Gaia has shown that defensively, it could give that player an advantage over the other players that Barcelona have in that position. But here's the thing. Jordi Alba, defensively, he has shown that he can get better. We have seen Jordi Alba defend very well in many occasions last season. There were times where he has made ridiculous defensive mistakes. We have seen that. But there has been moments where he has shown that he can be a great defensive option. The only reason why Jordi Alba showed inconsistency 
consistency within his defensive game, it is because the change of tactics and formation is what killed this player. But Jordi Alba has shown that he does have the level, but the consistency does need to be there. Alejandro Balde has shown that he can't track back and Barcelona can build upon this player. As for Serginho Dest, he is the exact same player like Alejandro Balde. His defensive game can be improved on. And I do believe that because we have so much material to work with, where we know that Jordi Alba can produce that level and we know that Balde and Serginho Dest can improve, there is no need for another new left back. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.